Crystal T1 is a surface applied crystal and slurry treatment that transforms new or existing concrete into a permanently waterproof barrier. It becomes integral to the concrete and can be applied to either the positive or negative side of the water pressure. Crystal T1 allows for easier and more reliable waterproofing protection compared to membranes in new construction and is the most dependable and cost-effective solution for stopping water when remediation is needed on existing concrete. Crystal T1 is available in white or gray and contains crystal technology. When applied to concrete, crystal chemically reacts with water and unhydrated cement particles to form needle-shaped crystals that fill capillary pores and microcracks in the concrete and permanently block the pathways for water and waterborne contaminants. Crystal T1 needs to be applied to a clean, wet concrete surface, free of paint, sealers, form release agents, or any other contaminants. The concrete must be open pore and absorptive, such that water placed on the surface will soak in. Saturating the concrete is essential to your success. Prepare the surface by high pressure water blasting. This will open the pores and fill them with water, allowing pathways for the crystal chemicals to penetrate below the surface. A saturated substrate will also prevent your Crystal T1 coating from drying out while it hardens and losing adhesion to the surface. Remove any surface water. The properly prepared surface is saturated, surface dry. Each pail should cover 20 square meters or 225 square feet. Ensure proper coverage by laying out the pails in advance on the slab or along the wall to be coated. Pay attention to your material consumption as you work. If you cover an area and have material left over, it means you are not applying the material thickly enough. Adjust your spread rate. Mix Crystal T1 with water to a smooth, thick slurry consistency. This is achieved by mixing approximately three and a half parts of T1 powder with one part clean water. To mix half of a large bucket at a time, add half of the Crystal T1 powder to three liters or three quarts of water while mixing. Putting the water in first helps to prevent the powder from sticking in the corners. Use as little water as possible. Adding too much water will make it difficult to apply to the required thickness and will also result in a weak application. The mixture should be as thick as possible while still able to pour out of the pail. If the mixture sits still, it may become stiff. Do not add more water. Workability will be restored by vigorous mixing. Only mix as much material as can be applied within 20 minutes. Remember to maintain the surface in a saturated surface dry condition. Temperatures must be above 4 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit. For vertical applications, T1 can be applied by brush, but applying with spray equipment can be much more productive. A low pressure hopper gun works well. Follow the spray application by brushing to work the T1 into the pores and achieve even coverage. For slab applications, it is easiest to simply pour the mixture and spread with a push broom. Protect the application against damage from traffic, rain, or freezing temperatures for at least 24 hours. Cover to retain moisture, and once the application is hardened, mist frequently with water to prevent it drying out. 